doesn't matter if you're left wing, right wing, central. Politics is a rigged system built by liars for liars. Bold statement, right? But it's the truth. The politician that lies the most or lies most convincingly wins the election. And of course, there's other factors that come into it, like the mainstream media and social media. But for the most part, the political parties' manifestos are always just a big book of lies, promises designed to make you vote for them. Look, I might be cynical, but that's the way I see it. I see lies coming from the left. I see lies coming from the right all the time, constantly. Both sides are terrible. The last election cycle that we had in the UK, Jeremy Corbyn said, we're going to get rid of all student debt. And after announcing that, he had a fantastic turnout for that age group of people voting. In the 18 to 29 category, he got the majority of votes. Now, it was a landslide win for the Conservatives because everyone else voted a different way. But for that age group with that specific lie, they just took it. They were like, yeah, perfect, gonna vote for him. And there's hundreds of examples of this on the left, on the right, in all of Western democracies. Politicians lie about what they're gonna do in power and just never deliver. And you can make the argument that it's difficult to do so with the opposition. It's hard with the House of Commons and Lords and the House of Representatives and the Senate in America. It's hard when your opposition is pushing against your, trying to complete your tasks. But then you need to be realistic. You need to be realistic in your manifesto. We are going to try and tackle these five big problems over the next four years. And that is gonna be our main goal. We might not get it done because of the opposition, but we're going to try our hardest to get these three massive things done. And we're gonna have all these other things in our back of our mind. We're gonna have one to five smaller things and we'll try and get those done too. But the main focus is these three. That's realistic, but it's not gonna win you an election because if those three things only account for the opinion of 40 to 50 year olds, that's the only group of people that are gonna vote for you and then you're gonna lose by landslide. You need to make a promise to fix a problem for every person and that's gonna be hundreds of promises for all these different things. That's the only way you're gonna get elected. And that is built on lies. So promises and lies, that's how you get elected. Saying that you're gonna accomplish things that you know there's no chance of accomplishing, but you have to say it, otherwise no one will give you a chance. And then you have to make sure that the lies aren't just blatant lies, that they're kind of close to the truth and potentially maybe doable. So you can't promise that you're gonna complete problem A when problem A is definitely not gonna be completed because people will see through that and call you out on it. So you have to kind of say that you're gonna try and attack the problem that is problem A, but you know you're not gonna bother really, but those people that are passionate about problem A are gonna vote for you. You have to be convincing enough to sell the lies, to sell these promises. So you might have an opinion on how you're gonna do something and you're campaigning and you're in a city and you're saying this specific thing. And then you go to another city and they have a different opinion on that. And they ask you, how are you going to deal with it? Are you going to say, I'm dealing with it this way, how you did it in city A? Or are you going to make up a different way for city B? Probably make up a different way. So you have to lie and promise with no contradictions. And that starts to be an art. All you have to have is charisma to convince people. And that's how Obama did it, really or you go completely against the grain and say that you despise the whole process and the game, but you secretly play the game as well, which is how Trump did it. And last election, I liked equally Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang. So I'm not saying there's not other candidates out there and there's not other options. There will be, and they are a bit different, but it's just with mainstream media and social media and a lack of critical thinking. It's too easy for everyone to believe lies and have those truths spun. And this is a very pessimistic, fatalistic video. I get it. But it's genuinely how I see 95% of politics. And the only 5% I have a positive opinion on is local elections. Local people in local communities that make an actual difference. But that's another video for another day. Mm -hmm.